Hey there everybody, the Link Zella here, and welcome back to God of War Ascension. Now, when we last left off, we fought with the Prophet Caster and killed him, getting the Amulet of Ouroboros, and the best part about it is, the first time I played through that, I got a trophy from the game that was a direct reference to Total Recall, because that character was obviously modeled after the psychic leader from that movie. The trophy was called Quaid, so that's basically like the main protagonist of Total Recall, and I just love it when games do uh, referential stuff like that. And now we're back at the Cistern in the village of Kira. We are repairing the Great Aqueduct, and now we are going to see what we can find. And I just walked into a battle. And of course, Goatmen and Dogs. Here, play with that. Mm -hmm. I feel so powerful. Sick of boys. I I gotta say that I love this because Army of Hades was probably everybody's favorite spell back when they played the original God of War. But now I'm gonna use a little bit of magic because I don't like the events they surround me. The problem that I have with the original God of War and the uh, Army of Hades from that game is that you unfortunately get it so late in the game that you can only use it in the third act, and that's because it's OP as shit, but the problem comes in with the fact that basically because of the finite amount of blood orbs that you can get in the game before the final boss, you are now left with a choice between having the Army of Hades at full power or the Blades of Chaos at full power. You can't get 100% before you fight Ares. You might be able to power them both up by the time you basically, like, finish the first phase of the battle with Ares, but it just kind of comes off as a little bit, I don't know, a, a tough choice to make, because now you basically, like, have to choose, like, if you want the magic at your magic at its fullest, or if you want your weapons to give the most damage. Plus, red. Red is an awesome color. <coughs> But purple is good. Purple is good, too. In fact, I really like what we've got going on here. <laughs> Basically, this could be an opportunity for me to pretty much, like, do the whole code and put the code thing yet again, but... Basically, I really don't want to look up, like, the solution on how to do that online, so I'm going to save that for another video if I ever decide to come back and do that ever again. Please, like, leave a comment down in the comment section below to let me know if you really want me to do that, and I might have it done before we start playing God of War, Ghost of Sparta. No, wait. Chains of Olympus. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, these things aren't numbered. Oh. I have more than 1,200. Alright, let's power up the blades. I love that. I love it. They're starting to look like the blades that they're supposed to be. Like, look at the hilt in particular. You might not have noticed it from the from the beginning of the game, but those, like, notches, those hooks that are part of the design of the face on the hilt, they're starting to become more pronounced and stretch outward, almost like the blade itself is waking up. And the seams of what looks like magma flowing through the blade, the increased uh, serrated notches, and the wear and tear, they're just awesome. That was, like, such a clever idea to implement into the game. And quite frankly, right now, the only thing I'm concerned about is the increased damage, so... Maybe with a few 700 more blood orbs, I will finish off Ares' fire. Or... Maybe... Hmm. <coughs> I really want to see the magic attacks on these things, but... I'm willing to, I'm confident in my beliefs that we've still got a lot of game to go, so don't have to make decisions now. Oh, fight, and it's another Cyclops. Although technically, this is a flashback that took place before the prologue, so is this the first Cyclops that Kratos ever fought? Speaking of which, isn't Polyphemus supposed to be in this game? Can't wait to fight him. For those of you who don't know, Polyphemus is basically like the most famous Cyclops in all of Greek mythology. It's the Cyclops from Homer's Odyssey. The one that basically traps Odysseus' men in the cave, 
And if you hadn't noticed, these little bugs, after I twist their heads off, the last ones were ice elemental themed, now these ones are electric themed. They come in electric too? Whoa! Well, thanks for swatting the bug for me. Would you please be in here and hold still for a minute? Yeah. I honestly didn't think this would work on something as big as you. Retreat! Sick boys! The dead will fight. That's it. Get down here. Yeah. Give me your entrails! I can't wait till, till we get to God of War 2 because, like, that is definitely going to be the goriest of glory kills. <laughs> Look forward to putting that at the bookend for the video when that finally does happen. Because I, cause I gotta say, I really love doing it. <laughs> and it's obvious I'm going to have to fix the bridge, but let's see what we can find around here. And the door closed. Well, not going back. Aha! You know, I could fix the bridge, but I'm not going to. At least not yet. Ooh, the village has been reset. But how? Everybody who lived here is dead. How could they have come back and replaced all the stuff that I smashed before? And the chests in these houses have been reset. What the plum is going on here? I have a feeling that something is watching me right now. There's something in this town. You think that the monsters could be doing this? <laughs> now, I know I probably shouldn't check in here because if my memory serves, there's nothing in here for me, but might as well do it. Yeah, too bad those chests couldn't be reset. <laughs> and I just wasted maybe a minute and a half. Not so bad. I'm surprised that you can't get up there. Like, why even render something like that if you can't get up to it? Get back up there. Come on, Kratos. Hail the bridge. Yes, because Without that, I would have no idea how to get back the way I already came. Let's see, is there anything in this ruined house for me? Somebody reset the table. What the... You guys see that up there in that corner? What is that? Is it possible to get up there? Oh, it looks shiny. I have to get up there now. Dang it. If that's anything, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know how I missed out on an opportunity for completion. Can mock me with it all you like if it is something. I have a feeling that I'm going to be able to fix this cave in. Just 
door is blocked by a cave-in. The aqueduct's destruction has cut off safe passage to the harbor. Why can't I use? Why can't I use it? Do I have to see it in order to use it? <laughs> I guess we're going back towards the big water wheel. And that bridge just collapsed. There's the aqueduct. I must return life to this poor village. Now this part. This gave me some problems the first time I got here, but now I know what to do. And it's actually a pretty clever puzzle. And as you can see, those two chests down there are back as well. <laughs> Ooh. That would hurt any other man but Kratos. Should do it. Let's twist it all the way back here. Because that was blocking the path before. So, logically speaking, if we decay it, now it'll block the path, which means the water wheel is now stuck. That's stuck. Hobbit says it's stuck. Baggins is, is stuck. <laughs> this shit's gonna have nuts in it. <laughs> Don't let go of L2. That's cool. And now... We repair the aqueduct in full. We return life to this godforsaken village. Although ironically, the gods caused this, so this is what happens when the gods actually help people. And I don't think that's how water wheels work. I honestly think that, like, Unless these bins are, like, being filled up with water, the water itself would have to flow on this portion in order to actually get in there, so... Uh, but maybe it's just running along the wheel. Going down into the sub-level, dude. The caverns. To dungeons deep and caverns old. Ooh! Water. The grotto! In the grotto, in the grotto, Kratos is swimming around in the grotto. And that's a volcanic vein right there. <laughs> Only who else but Kratos, because quite frankly, Kratos should be dead being that close to, well, op an open magma vein. But he's Kratos. He should totally be brought back for a new death battle. Ah, but who am I kidding? I stopped watching Death Battle like a year ago. But I'm not going to talk about them. If you guys are interested in hearing me discuss these things, like, leave a comment in the comment section below and I might start doing discussion videos, because I have a lot to say about a lot of things. And I know that, like, <laughs> that basically describes everybody. We all have something to say. And that's what I think is so great about YouTube. Basically, anyone with a microphone can pretty much just record what they are, what they want to say, what they want to rant and ramble about. They can save it, or they can put it online for everybody to hear. Just basically just to get it out into the ether, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I know what to do here. <clears throat> what the It's a great. That usually would have worked in another in the other God of War games. Alright, I'll get out of the water. Passage to the harbor. Oh, not these guys again. And they're ice types now. And for those of you who are wondering, no, once they go full power on me, once they go Super Saiyan on me, using their respective elements does not, uh, they're using the opposing element does not bring them out of it. Like, watch. I'll hit them with fire. It does not work. Unless... See? Hate you guys. 
guys, I really do. Give me that! Get them! I said them! I should really s stop rolling back towards it. It's not working with the desired effect that I thought it would. Wait a second. Holy crap, the amulet didn't work on him while he was in that form. Honestly, that was supposed to come down when both chains were broken. Move around here. Maybe I might find something. Please, don't tell me that I'm going to get stuck on a puzzle that I've literally already solved before this. I know you're supposed to decay it. Uh, see? Now it's starting to move. So I guess before, it was just another friggin' game glitch. See? You see? I'm not crazy. I was right. Well, let's go for a swim. Kratos, the Submariner. Yeah, this is really beautiful to look at. Basically, I can take either of the branching paths that are going to fork off here, because literally they both get to the same destination, and I've already collected the treasure from this area, so there's literally no point in looking for it again. Unless... But, what the hell. That was the Sea Captain's idol, sea captain's treasure or whatever, so. Now, basically with that, that basically should be all caught up, but we're not to the island of Delos just yet. So, we have to move on. There we go. And we finally made it to the harbor of Kira. I should be able to play those. Whoa! There's a giant over there. And there's now a path of red orb chests. Oh, looks like I just found a passage onto a ship. But that's all the way over there. But I'm gonna keep exploring over here and get my blood orb bounty.
Hey there, big guy. How you doing? The harbor master of Kira, captured from the bloodthirsty Isle of, Le of the Lestragonians, this tame giant guides the waiting vessels into and out of the sea cave that is the harbor of Kira. So that's a Lestragonian. Huh. They're much bigger than Percy Jackson would have me to believe. That guy's a literal giant. I wonder how they tamed that thing. That thing is supposed to be a man-eater. Captain's Log. Return with the last of the Delos workers. Archimedes insists on finishing the statue alone. He's mad. Ah, uh, poor old Archimedes. You see, that's what happens when you stay out every night with Merlin. Always grumpy in the morning. Ooh. Secret chest. Ooh, what's this? A letter to a sailor's wife. I long to return to you and our son. Since the attack and the aqueduct's destruction, safe passage to Kira has been difficult. I hope you are well. Oh. Oh. That is... That is really sad right there. That's... That's depressing. Huh. This seems kind of like a nothing ship. Ordinarily, this is where you would put, like, a secret enemy fight. I guess the monsters can't get into ki to the harbor. It's protected. Gorgon's eyes. Just one more. And one more Phoenix Feather. I love how consistent this game is keeping collecting both of them, because, quite frankly, in the other God of War games, it's like your Gorgon's eyes can get so far ahead of your Phoenix Feathers that basically it's like you'll be lucky if your magic can keep up with your health. Permission to come aboard, Captain! The Shade. Orcos. What the? Don't you run from me! Only a coward hides himself, Orcos! You know I'm one of the Furies who forged your bomb. He's marked. Kill me before I could even speak. Kind of like me. me. What has brought you to this betrayal of your own kind? It was you. The injustice of your oath that made you doubt. Is it possible that through all your suffering you still do not understand why you were chosen? Why Ares needed you, why he still needs you. Speak clearly. So that guy is... The god of war <coughs> has been plotting for years. I was brought forth by the joining of the war god and the fury queen. Bow chicka wow wow. I just saw Ares get laid. In and insanity, Ares hoped to conceive the perfect warrior. Rage and insanity? Perfect war. I was only a disappointment to him. It was my mothers who spared me. They gave me the task of keeping the oaths. So are all three of them your mothers? Or is just one? Was great. I was determined to be of service to those who said they loved me. Is it kind of like a godmother thing with the other two? It was the final task of your bond that made me question the actions of my family. What task? Oh, and he has to wear them in his skin? That's brutal. I sought counsel with Aletheia. It was she who revealed to me the plot of Ares to overthrow Zeus. But he needed the perfect warrior. Ares molded you to take down the very walls of Olympus. Hmm. Interesting. Ares, destroy my enemies! And my <coughs> life is yours! To make you behold him only to him, Ares and my mothers devised three blood tasks. Enemies. Spill the blood of your enemies. Innocent. The blood of the innocent. The blood of your very The past is the past, Orcos. Well, interrupt us. You now seek to rectify. And I will do so without the aid of a fury. Don't turn down help where you can find it, Kratos. 
But that just proves that, like, Ares was behind the death of Kratos' family. Why are people still blaming him for it? It was literally orchestrated by the God of War. So that guy basically guides the ships out of the sea cave, which is a good idea because sea caves are a terrible place to have a harbor, and whoa, that guy's mouth is sewn shut. Honestly, I don't think that giant was so much tamed as he was, well, broken. As Kratos looked upon the gem, he realized all he need do was fight the forces that gnawed at his mind. His thoughts now clear. The warrior turned his rage to the remaining fuel and their ultimate defeat. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to use the amulet to repair the Hecatonchires' arm so I can get through there. Back in the prison of the damned, and we have another Cerberus fight, but unfortunately that is all the time we have left for this video. I hope that you guys are really enjoying it, and that right there revealed a whole lot of story, like Orcos is the son of Ares and the Fury Queen, don't know what her name is quite yet, I'm not sure if it's Electo or the Head Queen or the Head Fury herself, but honestly speaking, that's really interesting. But here's another, I just want to take this opportunity to point out a problem that I see with the entire franchise, is that as we got further and further into the numbered games, like with God of War 2 and 3, Ares became less and less important, and I just do not get how they were able to do that, because Ares was the catalyst behind Kratos becoming a god, and yet he's taken out in the first game because that's what the entire story of God of War 1 was about, but then suddenly the rest of the trilogy is all about Kratos basically trying to get his revenge on Zeus, and eventually taking down Olympus. It ultimately seemed like Ares just wasn't important anymore, so this game basically retconned in the idea that the reason that Kratos, that the reason that Ares first sought an allegiance with Kratos in the first place was to use him as the warrior that would eventually bring, down, bring Olympus to its knees. He literally chose Kratos because he knew that Kratos was destined to destroy Olympus, so in a lot of ways, Ares is responsible for everything that happened. So, I feel like that's a great way to make him relevant to the overall story again, but I just wish that Ares appeared to Kratos in person in this game. Like, basically to have a great juxtaposition to how Ares is in the first game compared to this point in the game. Because in the first game, Kratos becomes powerful enough to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ares, but at this point, he's not nearly powerful enough to challenge the God of War. Let's have Ares just appear before Kratos, let Kratos attack Ares, only to get completely backhanded by the God of War because he is absolutely no match, and let Ares be like, You will hold to your oath, Kratos. You will come back to me. They always do. But anyways... Hope that you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. If you like this video, please leave a comment down in the comment section below and be sure to like it and share it with your friends. If you want to keep up to date on more God of War Ascension videos coming your way, you just smash that subscribe button. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later!